Church Kids Show. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Church Kids Show. I'm your host, Charles Good. And I'm your host, Tracy Finder. Today's episode is going to be lots of fun. But first, I'm going to beat Charles in a game that I like to call Think Fast. Wait, what? Did you just say you're going to beat me in a game? What? What? Huh? What? Huh? Who? What? What? I didn't say anything. Uh, Tracy, why don't you explain the rules to the Church Kids? <laughs> I'd love to. We are going to take turns drawing one of these cards. Ooh, that card. Each card has a totally random question on them. One person asks the question and the other person needs to answer the question as soon as it's asked. Like, immediately. It doesn't matter if the answer is right or wrong, it just has to be the first thing that pops into your head. Can I practice? Ask me a yes or no question. Do you like to eat? No! Oh wait, that was wrong. <laughs> Dang it. No! I love to eat, but I answered so I guess I can't go back. All right. Let's do this. Which sandwich is the best sandwich? Cheese. A cheese sandwich? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as it has cheese on it. How fast are trains? Very. Great. <laughs> How do you dance? Like that. Like that, okay. When is tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> no, that's today. When is tomorrow? Well, my answer is Wednesday. <laughs> Great. Okay. <sighs> What's the capital of Earth? Mars. <laughs> <laughs> What's that popular new video game called? Skyrim. Great. <laughs> Skyrim's like 12 years old. I would have said Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, I don't, some of you know what Skyrim is, and you know what, you know what, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's over there? That chair. <laughs> There's a chair. Does that mean you get a point? Yep, point okay. for me. Ding. Who did you invite to your party? Sandy. Who is Sandy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any friends named Sandy. <laughs> How much does a duck weigh? 75 pounds. <laughs> wow! Obviously. I want to see this one. <laughs> what are sports? Weird. What can I buy for one dollar? A dollar. <laughs> I think that's true. I think that's also called an exchange. <laughs> Would you like my crisp dollar for this soggy dollar? What are birds made out of? Feathers. What was Jojo Siwa's first word? Dada. Why does anyone care? Is my question. <laughs> I, can, I have another one. <laughs> Who's the best painter you know? Um, uh, oh, um, um, uh, uh, Bob Ross. You know him? Yeah, personally. He's my brother's, uncle's, cousin's, dog's, best friend's, other cousin's. Well, your answer's wrong! Absolutely wrong! Wait, what? How? How could I be wrong? You asked the question, I said the first answer that comes to mind. There's really no right and wrong answer in this game. Yeah, well, you're right, but you're wrong here. The best painter in the entire world is Sasha. Um, nope. Pretty sure Bob Ross is way cooler than whoever this Sasha is. Bob Ross is like the Michael Jordan of painting. Two words, happy clouds. Um, Tracy, I think my friend Alex would have to disagree. Let's check it out. All right. Hello, my name's Sasha. And I'm Alex, and I'm really excited. Today, we talk about painting. We're gonna paint. Oil painting. Can we paint now? Let's go. Yes! All right, so, get your paint. Dip it in the phthalo blue. See? Thick, thick, thick. Oh. Start at the top. Darkest at the top. Long strokes, see? Wow! So, now once you get the crisscross strokes, the crisscrosses, crosses, all that stuff, and then what you do is to tie the entire cloud all together. Long, long, long. All the way across. Like this? Just like that. Do that. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. See, see? See how it makes it smoother. All right, so now, without even having clouds yet, look like you have clouds. So get the same color and then just Go across. I'll show you how to do it. Roll the paint up. Like so. Start at the bottom again, and then work your way up top. All the way across, kind of middle right there. Okay. Look good. And do this. All the way across. Go all the way up. 
so you leave little misty mist right there. So you fill in all blank spots like this, so it looks good like that, okay, and now you just go across a long strokey thrust. As you can see, sky, sky, water, water. You see how I left little uh, little spot right there? The sunshine, you know, peeping through clouds. If you put it all together, you go long, strokey strokes, 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 strokes. Looks very good, Chester. Alex. Like I said, very good. All right, so you probably been wondering what is inside this. This paint thinner, okay? Very, very toxic stuff. Do not drink, okay? You grab a paintbrush, you dip it, dip it, dip, swirl, 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 grab paper towel, towel, anything, you wipe, 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 until you get all the paint off, okay? So now what you do is you get the black, you dip it in there, okay, put it on the palette, then you get a little bit of gray, and then to finish it off, you get this dark, dark blue. Okay, dip it in there, and you mix around like so. Chester, uh... Alex! Alex. So you start up top, okay? And use the fine, fine, this part right there. Very, very thin. You kind of get it thin a little bit. Pull the mountain out. See how it's thick right there? Very thick. Now you grab it again. Flatten out brush with paint. Pull the mountain down like this. Very nice. Pull. Are you pulling? So you want basic shape of mountain. Fill it in. Now you just fill it in. But you always pull down to make misty mist at the bottom, you see? You have two mountains. Very good. Looks good. Looks nice. Alright, so now what you do is you can add a little bit of land over here. Pull the land over. Since you have the lay of the land, it looks good, looks nice. Okay, now what you do is you get clean, dry brush, okay? So now what you want to do is create a mist so it's not so intense. So it kind of fades into distance, you see? Now, to make mountain have character, you just kind of grab it and keep pulling the mountain along the sides and then so it creates more of a character of which way the mountain goes, you see? Now with a small brush, just move up and down. Make the illusion of a long misty misty uh, trees in the background. Okay, so like that. Wait. Now you just kind of... I like zigzags. Very good, Chester. Alex! Looks good. You get the white and you kind of go along this side right there, okay, so it kind of goes like that. I told you we'd do some clouds, correct? Yes, clouds. Clean, dry, big brush. Put it out there so people see. Yeah. It's clean and it's dry. Now you want to go for the white. We have two different whites, but I like this one because it's got a little kiss on the top, you know? Lots of paint on this, okay? What we're going to do is start from corner, okay? We'll start from the very, very corner and see if you can just use the very corner of the brush right there and just circular, very, very small circular motion. Very corner, let's go like this, okay? My clouds, my clouds, uh, my, my, my clouds, my, my clouds look like dragons. Yes, like, uh, yes, very dragony. This is what you got. The mountain and sky, uh, rises above fluffy clouds. Cool! Thanks for the paint lesson. All right, Chester. Alex. What a masterpiece! Beautiful! Beautiful! Just gorgeous! Wow! <laughs> Those are some happy clouds, I will say. Just the happiest of them all. Mm, indeed. Well, the time has come for yet another guest on our show, and you know him. His name is Professor Cheeto! Whoop, whoop. Professor Cheeto, take it away. Well, hello, church kids! It's me again, Professor Cheeto! 
I'm coming to you from right outside my laboratory this summer day where weather conditions are ideal for one of my favorite activities. Cheeto consumption! Now, today, we're gonna talk about <laughs> Today, we're going to learn about how things don't have to be perfect for you to celebrate what God is doing. I had the brilliant idea of bringing an acquaintance along with me. Church kids, say hello to Slick Slan Slyke. Hey, church kids, happy to be here. Wonderful. Well, Slick, I brought you here today to talk about not waiting for things to be perfect, to be thankful for what God has done. Okay. But things seem to be perfect right now. I'm outside, I have an acquaintance with me, I have my Cheetos. What could possibly go wrong in this kind of a situation? What the? What? What is this? What? Oh! Oh! No! Water is falling from the sky! It's all ruined! My Cheetos! Oh, good gravy! My Cheetos! No! No, really, I think we just can, you know... Oh, why? My snack has turned into a gelatinous glob! This whole day has been bungled by this cursed rain! Oh! No, professor! No! Professor! Look down. Ah! Oh, I see! You see, sometimes the problems that keep us from having fun and thanking God aren't actually that big of a deal. All you need to do is change the way you're looking at the things. So, should we, uh, move, right? Of course we should. Let's make it fun, Professor. Dance with me. Well, dancing is not part of my protocol, but I guess I'll give it a try. <laughs> Ow! My elbow! This is suboptimal! Suboptimal! I slipped! I even injured my patella! I accidentally stood under a sprinkler, and my Cheetos are spectacularly soggy. This day just keeps getting worse. You're right. Things don't really seem to be going your way right now, Professor. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy where you are. Remember, things don't have to be perfect. Instead of focusing on the things that have gone wrong, focus on the things that we can enjoy right now. Right, well, I mean, we're here together, and it's always nice to have a friend with you. Yeah. Uh, now that we're out of the sprinkler, uh, the, weather's, the weather's really good. Uh, I still have my science costume. And you still have your Cheetos. But they're, they're basically a thick Cheeto stew. Who said they wouldn't be tasty? I'm saying it right now. That wouldn't be tasty. Hey, you'll never know unless you try it. These look scrumptious. Delicious, see? There are plenty of things you can thank God for, even though things aren't perfect. Huh, well, I suppose you are correct, Slick. Thank you for helping me today. Maybe I will have a bite of this Cheeto stew. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks again, Slick. Next time, maybe we'll talk about how to uh, fix your taste buds, you know? See you next time, church kids. Well, church kids, as great as it's been to dance in the rain with each of you, it's about that time that we shut this place down before it really starts pouring. Get it? Because it was raining earlier, you know, like the rain coming down Wait. earlier. Remember? Oh. Before we leave, we have our rapid recap with our friends from the east side. Nice! Take it away! What time is it, Siri? Rapid recap. Yep, it's time for a rapid recap. Do you remember what we learned today? I think I do. Today, Slick reminded us to see the good in everything. That's right, church kids. Today, we're reminded that even when we're having a bad day or a rainy, rainy day, day, we can change the way we see things by fighting to see the good. Right, Siri? Yep. Should we thank God even when things aren't going our way? Yes, that's a great idea. Even when things aren't going our way, we can still thank God. And it really helps us to see all the good he's doing. I think Slick had a really good idea about dancing in the rain, right, Siri? Yeah. Okay, church kids, we'll see you later. Bye. Church kids, we've had an amazing time with all of you. See you next time, and don't forget, it's a great day to be a church kid. Yeah. The church can show. <laughs> <laughs>